Hydra is a very common disease, especially in our area of the Middle East, where it's more common than other areas for different factors. In normal my clinic, I'm doing anterior segment, and uh, almost 30 to 40% of my patients, they have some dry eye as the main cause why they come to the clinic, or they come for different reasons, cataract, refractive surgery, other disease, and they have associated dry eye symptom. Majority of them is mild to moderate, but we also facing cases where severe dry eye and they have high comorbidity and different need to have more complex management for these specific groups. In my practice, really, it's a more evaporative dry eye, almost maybe 70%, uh, but it's measured, there's a mixed batch because they, always, they have a lot of mixed people at equus and evaporative. But it's nowadays with the digital and computer and everything, mobunia glands function rate is high, so there are many patients who have evaporative also component, and we need to treat that part also. <music> Dry disease usually can present by itself, but usually associated also with mobunia gland dysfunction, although now we put the mobunia gland dysfunction as together with this uh, dry eye disease. But also patients coming with chronic allergic conjunctivitis, people had autoimmune disease, like rheumatoid, Jogran syndrome, all these patients are coming with dry eye. Also there's the other patient who's coming for laser surgery, they may have some dry eye, and patients who are wearing contact lens, they could have also associated dry eye disease because of contact lens wearer. <music> Dry is affecting all range of patients. Uh, it's usually associated with elderly patients, but now there's more trends to affecting even young patients because of the using of digital media, mobile, computers. So that's all increased the incidence of dry eye at even younger age than what we used to be before. Basically, to choose the, the drops for the patient, there's different criteria to use it. First, the convenience for the patient. Some patient wanted to have a single dose, unidose, so he can carry with him. Especially with here, the environment is too hot, so it's easier for the patient to carry than to have the bottle, which may not valid for the, to add the period. Uh, so a patient preference here, they prefer the unidose. The other way also, how easy to use the drops, even the design of the bottle can be different from bottle to bottle and the patient has different preference. Regarding the gel, I usually use it at night time, mainly because it makes the vision slightly blurry, so we usually either for severe dry eye or usually at uh, bedtime, we're using the gel. The compliance rate is for artificial tear and the dry treatment is very variable, really. Artificial tear, it's, most people, they comply because it's easy to use the drops, especially if they have a symptom. The people who have dry eye without much symptom, that's they have low compliance. Uh, the other low compliance, really, the people who had ocular, uh, what you call mebunia gland dysfunction, lid hygiene, warm compressor, that's, I think, is they have very low compliance because it takes longer for the patient to do that. I think the patient looking for eye treatment for dry eye is usually the convenient, the, it's the comfort feeling, and also lasting effect. And they, they're looking for that to have symptom free all day long. <music> Bryce play a role, but it's not an important role really. The decision is just to have the best treatment suit the patient as far as we're concerned. Uh, for the patient who is insurant, maybe it doesn't affect them, but the patient who is private, I think they may sometimes asking for compatible good treatment, but at lower rate of price. Uh, regarding patient education now is for media and different things, it's good. They have benefit, but also sometimes they have disadvantage because they become confused regarding the best treatment. Uh, it doesn't affect my decision, but it helped me to educate the patient about what's the best way to treat dry eye and just correcting his if he had any misinformation from the media. But I think it's useful because really the, for dry eye management, most important things really patient education because if the patient educate about dry eye, that the management will be very good and the, the more aware of the dry eye symptom, how to deal with it, the better treatment and better result really. <music>